All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Bahashai, Bahasham, Bahabakakadash, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe. I want to say this again to one Yahweh, to one Yahweh Sham. Yahweh Shai for allowing me to minister to the elect. I can only do this through Yahweh Shai. I can only get through this with Yahweh Shai. N nothing else. He's the one that gives me the strength. He's the one that gives me the power to continue. Right? And this lesson is going to be a variety of topics. Um, so lucky. I don't usually do my lessons, you know, kind of laying down. But just need a bit of rest. Yeah, I'm going to get up soon. Right? Uh, get up soon, but you know what? The scripture says the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak indeed. We get their moments, but we're still going to fight through, right? I can do all things through Yahweh Shai that strengtheneth me. And this lesson is going to be based upon um, Yahweh Shai. He was really and the prophets, mostly Yahweh Shai. He was heavily, 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 heavily scrutinized. Yahweh Shai's life was scrutinized from every angle. Can you imagine that? Right? A lot of men, sadly to say, they're not in the lot of the prophets, the true prophets. They're not in that lot. Right? Whether you want to call yourself an elder apostle, a bishop, these men are not walking in the stead of Yahweh Shai. All you have to do is read the scriptures and line it up with what's happening today. Yahweh Shai was scrutinized. Paul scrutinized. Every walk of life. So if you're truly, truly, if you have the Holy Spirit upon you, people are going to see that. They're going to marvel at that. Some are going to question that. Some are going to say, nah, that's, that's demons. That's not the Holy Spirit. Your life is going to be under con constant scrutiny. People are going to look for things that are bad. Right? People are going to look for particular traits. Not everybody's going to believe in you. Just like you have a show. We're going to let the scriptures come out. Oh man, we're going to go to John 7. And after these things, Yahweh walked in Galilee. Galilee is where he was brought up. Actually, Galilee where he was brought up. And Nazareth was where he was born. For he would not walk in Jewry. What does that mean, he would not walk in Jewry? Amongst the Jews. Right? He would not walk amongst the Jews. Right? The synagogues. Because the Jews sought to kill him. Is anybody reading this? This is John 7 chapter. The beginning of John 7 chapter. So you had other Israelites. Right? That wanted to kill Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Take him out. It's that same spirit that's back here again today. And it's for you. As a brother. As a sister. Be, to be able to pick up on that. And say you know what? I can't follow these guys. Some things they're saying. Yes, according to the scriptures, but are they for you have a share? Or are they against you have a share? One verse two. Now the Jews, now the, now the Jews feast of tabernacles was at hand. Right? And his brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence and go into Judea, Jerusalem, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. Right? So the disciples said, look, you're not going to do something in secret, but want it out, out openly. You're not going to teach this word in secret, but expect it, expect it not to um to get people to see. If thou do with these things, show thyself to the world, for neither did his brethren believe in him. So even amongst those amongst his brethren, he didn't believe the scriptures of prophets not without honour in his own country, within his own town, Salakia. Right? When Yahushua said unto them, My time is not yet to come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you. Key thing. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. This is where I get this is where I get the most comfort. Yahushua was comforting his disciples. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Right? It hates Yahweh Shai. 
I always say it's not you. The people they will give you that illusion like it's you, it's not you. It's just that they're demons, they never worked on themselves, and they don't want to repent. We're speaking of the 12 tribes of Israel, they don't want to repent. So there's gonna be some, there's gonna be Avrin. Good is set against evil, and evil is set against good. <clears throat> And because I testify of it, that the works are about evil. So the more you testify, Yahushua was testified of the evil works of Satan, of the devil. The more you do that, the more that people that are comfortable within the society, comfortable with wickedness, the more they're going to hate you. Right? Go up into the feast, this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet to come. And the feast was what, every year. Right? When he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, Ren went also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were, in secret. So they were moving stealthily. Right? Ren the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? So this was during the period of what? The Passover, I believe. Right? During the Passat. When the Jews, and it's interesting how, when they approach, approaching the Passat, and look at the spirit these demonic cast men are in. Is every time the year of the Pasak, these men getting at the money. These are the same men that are in. Look, the Pharisees that were against Yahweh Shai, they're back here again today. And they're in, they're in a lot of these groups, mostly GMS. With that same demonic spirit. And yeah, everybody has a lot. You, the thing to pray is that your lot was with Yahweh Shai. And you were doing the work with him and you were one of his disciples, one of his followers, one of, one of his believers. That's the lot we want to be in. Not the opposite. Can you imagine that coming back on earth knowing that you were against Yahweh Shai and his men? So the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? And there was much murmuring. Right? Much complaining. Right? I'm, I'm seeing lessons of men talking about this is what last year, if anybody don't come to the Passover, we're going to do a gathering, we're getting together. If anybody don't come to the Passover, you're bugged out. Says who? Says, says you. Says you. This is the order of Yahweh Shai. This is not your truth. This is Yahweh Shai's truth. And a man may not be able to make it to the Passover. I'm a rehearsal in the righteous acts, but a lot of men, they're becoming very, very demonic. And among the people concerning him, there was much murmuring. Among the people. And this is the common people of the world. Concerning him. Concerning who? Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai was a very, very... um. Let me slow it down. It was a very controversial man. There was a lot of... There was a lot of things said about Yahweh Shai. Very controversial. Not everybody was sure. He was raising a lot of eyebrows. He was shaking up a lot of things. And when you really have the Holy Spirit, you're going to shake up a lot of things. For some said, he is a good man. Others said, nay, but he deceiveth the people. So can you see how you are different people? They didn't, they never, some said he's good. We have no, it's like today. Some are going to say, you know what? The, the brothers, he just, he's just doing the work. He's a good man. You know, we, we walk past him, we say hello, we just get some of his work. And others said, nay, no, but he deceived the people. So it's going to be the same thing with you. Some are going to say, no, I don't, I, I don't like him. I think he's a deceiver. Some are going to say he's a good man. Some are going to say you're a good man, which we know there's no none good but the heavenly father. But this shows you, Yahabashai, he was shaking up things. People were unsure. And this also goes into people couldn't, um, what's the word, what's the word, what's the word? He was hard to read. This shows you Yahweh was hard to read. Right? He was highly spiritual. So you had people guessing, what type of manner of man is this? Verse 13, how about no man speak openly, openly of him for the fear of the Jews? Please, we got, we got to take time with this. This is John 7 and 13. How about no man speak openly of him? They weren't speaking, they weren't speaking openly 
out in the open for the fact it's like they were whispering, they were, they, were, they were speaking amongst each other for the fear of the Jews. So there was the great fear. So this means this means there was Jews going around trying to put a tab on what was happening. Don't mention him. Don't mention his name. You know? And if you are going to mention him, let it be something bad. This was what was going on. So this shows you the Jews had somewhat of superiority over the common people. Yeah, they, they had authority. They knew people. They were part of Esau's hierarchy. They were devils. They were demons. They were trying to stop the word. Now about the midst of the feast, Yahushua went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man let us have never learned? Right? Because Yahawashai, who, who did, the wisdom that he had, who was it from? It was from the Heavenly Father. Right? But he was still amongst the he was still amongst the Jews in the synagogue at a young age, at 12 years old. Right? But the knowledge he received was from on high. Just like John, what was it, John the Baptist? The knowledge he received was from on high. He wasn't taught. John the Baptist was not taught by the Pharisees. John the Baptist was taught by the Heavenly Father himself. Right? So you had these Jews, because they were taught a certain way within the synagogues, within the Torah, they were looking at Yahweh Shara. What, what, what does he know? Like, how does, how, know, how, this, how does he know these letters? Have and never learned. He wasn't taught in our way the tradition of men, the tradition of, of within, within the Torah. Well, he was taught, the, he, was the, he was the word. <laughs> right? Yahushua asked them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. Right? So Yahushua was letting them know, look, this, this is not my doctrine, but his the heavenly fathers, that's who you learn it from. And if any man would do his will, the heavenly fathers, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of the most high, and whether I speak of myself. So if you're, if you're actually doing the will of Yahweh or Yahweh Shai, you are going to know of the doctrine if you're doing his will. If you're doing the will of men, you are not fully going to know of Yahushua's doctrine. Or you may know a little part of it, but you were, gonna, you were not going to know it fully. Because men have swayed your mind. I've taught, taught you the doctrine of men. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory. And it so happens to be, you have men there seeking their own glory. It's about their camp. Just saw a latest video, a brother was, another brother was chucked out of a camp. I see the headline, the title... This, mold, this brother is no longer a part of Great Millstone. Good. That's fine. Right? But guess what? If he carries on, right, teaching the word, being sincere, right, if that brother carries on teaching the word and being sincere, who knows? He may make it. Right? Just because you're not in a camp, it doesn't mean anything. Right? And not all of these camps. Most of these camps are government organizations that were set up by Esau. So it's good. You can't have a blessing. If you're kicked out or whatever, you continue to do the work. Continue to believe in Yahweh Shai. Right? Follow his order. And yes, he also sets up another order. And those men, they were all going to be in what? One mindset. It wasn't going to be the order of the Pharisees. Right? And if you chuck out that man, what about... <laughs> you better chuck out the next, what? 100, maybe 150 men that are deceitful in your camps. Why don't you chuck out the agents instead of a man that's sincere and really speaks the words of Yahweh Shai? But every, everything's gonna get everything's gonna get dealt with. That's not that's really that's none of my business. Yahweh Shai's going to deal with that. And if that man is a man of the Lord, Yahweh Shai's gonna have him continue to teach by himself. Right? He that speak of himself seek of his own glory. Right? You've got men that speak of themselves. Our, our, our camp has 100% truth. Alright, but are you walking in that truth? But he that seeketh his glory, that sent him, the same is true, and none unrighteous is in him. But he that seeketh his glory, whose glory? The glory of Yahweh Shai, that sent him, the same is true. For that's how you know if a man's coming truly, and no unrighteousness is in him. You know why I do this? I want salvation. And I do this for the rest of the elect. And so I can please you, Shai. The main thing I'm thinking about, even when you go out into the highways and byways, I want to glorify Shai today. 
I want to glorify Yahweh Shai. And it, that's it. See, that's, that's, and it's very, 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 and especially in these times, it's very rare to find that. Right? We're saying about glorifying camps. The men you're around is about glorifying Yahweh Shai. And when you do that, guess what? He's able to what? Make your cup overflow. Did not Moses give you the law and let none of you keep it? Keep it the law? Why are you go about to kill me? So Yahweh was setting them straight. Moses gave you the law and you're not even keeping the law that you claim to believe. Got to remember, stress, stress you about the law, stress you about the Sabbath. They can't even keep the basics of law. They can't even keep the basics of the law. Don't line up your beds. And this would be the same man I tell you to keep the law. Keep the Sabbath. But they line up their beds. Same man I tell you to keep the Sabbath. But yeah, we do you keep the Sabbath to the best of your ability. But the same man saying that this man have envy on the Sabbath. That means you just you broke you broke the Sabbath. That's why the two most the two most important commandments is love thy Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with all thy heart with all thy soul, and with you doing that, everything else will fall into place. And second to that, what's going to fall into place? And love thy neighbor as thyself. Who's your neighbor? Your brother in this truth. Even if you don't really get along with him, you still love him. Men they they can't even exercise that. Why? Because they're reprobates. That's why they're still in darkness. You practice these things. Exercise these things. It's called having character. Why you go about to kill me? So they wanted, they wanted to take, get Yahweh Shai out of the way. The people answered and said, Thou has a devil. You see? So not everyone was sure about Yahweh Shai, who he was. Who go ever about to kill thee? Because they were trying, they were trying to, this is the reverse psychology they were trying to use on Yahweh Shai. So now they were trying to switch it over. You you have you have a devil, you've got demons on you. And you even see the same behavior with some of these camp leaders, some of these elders. Oh, don't don't speak to him. No contact. Where in the scriptures does it tell where in the scriptures does it tell you to do that? Yahweh Shai never said that. Paul said. If anyone's walking disorderly, scriptures talk about the disorderly, you refrain yourself from them. If anybody's teaching a different doctrine, heretics, and that's as far as it went. But in terms of saying, remove this, in the, now it makes sense. Because guess what? When I, was no, when, I, when I was no longer in the camp, it was the same thing. It was that same pattern. Yeah, no, don't talk to him. That's, that's it. So these men, they're not practicing the fruits of the spirit at all. Unless the individual is a complete, complete, complete demon. That's, an, that's another thing. Right? Unless he's a seducing spirit. That's another thing. But if the man, if he just wanted to do his own thing, he wanted to break up and there was a disagreement, you could still be somewhat cautious. But we're starting to see who's ready for Yahweh and who's not. And the people answered and said, Thou has a devil. Yeah, he has, he has devils on him. Don't, don't speak to him. He's bugged out. It was the same thing that was said to me. And guess what? I didn't, I didn't buck up. Didn't do none of that. I didn't do um, reply videos. I continue to do the work. And guess what? You have a shine. Justifies you. And he shows you signs. I was with you the whole time. The whole time I was with you. Right? And the people answered and said, that has a devil. Who go up about to kill thee? So they were trying to... Um, they were, they were trying that reverse psychology up on Yahusha, but it wasn't working. Yahusha answered and said unto him, I have done one work, and you marvel. Moses therefore gave me one to you, circumcision, but not because it's of Moses, but of the fathers. And you on the Sabbath day, circumcise a man. Right? And if a man on the Sabbath day receives circumcision, Excuse me, that the law of Moses should not be broken. Are you angry at me because I have made a man every bit whole on the Sabbath day? Because you also healed what on the Sabbath. Right? Judge not according to their parents, but judge righteous judgment. They couldn't even do that. Right? 
So that means they a lot of their judgment is based on the parents, partiality, the outward, right? But judge righteous judgment. When said someone of them in Jerusalem, is not this he who may seek to kill? So even others in Jerusalem were pointing it out saying, Ain't this Yahweh who these individuals did they're seeking to kill, plot upon? So even others were privy to what was going on. But no, he spake boldly. Scriptures that what's it the righteous are bold as a lion. And they say nothing unto him. Because they couldn't resist the scriptures, I will give you a tongue and mouth that your enemy shall not be, your adversary shall not be able to resist, nor gainsay. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Mashiach, the anointed, the Messiah? How about we know this man, whence he is? But when Mashiach cometh, no man knoweth whence he is. So they were trying to deny you how shy. Okay? Ring pride, they were just looking at him like he was just an ordinary man. Right? Ring pride, you have shy in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and you know whence I am, and I am not come of myself. But he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. Right? Speak, he was speaking, who was Yahushua speaking of when he said, who has sent me is true, who you know not? The Heavenly Father. Some would say the Most High, who they know not. And why did Yahushua say that? Because it was clear, by their own words, they were, just, they were expressing, they never knew the Heavenly Father. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me, Yahushua. Right? When they sought to take him, but no man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. So they were plotting. Right? It doesn't tell us how long they were plotting, but they were plotting. Right? Where did it begin? When did the plot begin? It, it tells us in John 14. As soon as he healed Lazarus, brought Lazarus back from the dead. That's when it began with what? Caphias. Okay? That's when it began because it tells you that's when that plot began. When they wanted to what? Take him out. These men are demonic. They're demonic. Right? They don't have the love of the Father, let alone Yahweh Shai. And many of the people believed on him. Excuse me just a minute. Yeah, and many, many of the people believed on him and said. So you had many that were being converted. When Mashiach cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man have done? <laughs> right? When the Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him. Right? So the Pharisees were getting worried because guess what? His name was spreading. His miracles were spreading. And the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. This is where you have to pay attention. Excuse me just a minute. Stop right there. It says he sent officers and chief priests sent officers to take him. So this means you would have elders and chief priests within the truth, that have hired, that know, that have connections to the police force, that have police officers, that have undercover agents, whether it be MI5, whatever, infiltrate the truth. How do we know that? Let's go to James, Galatians 2 and 4, and that because of false brethren, unawares, brought in, and this is Paul speaking, who came in privily, Right, secretly to spy, right, to, means to look in, right, to infiltrate, to look in, to watch upon our liberty, which we have in Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that they might bring us into bondage. So these men were brought in, some some are brought in unaware, some the cab leaders never knew, but no, it was a lot, it was the Pharisees that done that, most. They sent officers to do their dirty work. Okay? That they might bring us into bondage. Under who? Under the oppressor Esau. Because you have certain men, they're comfortable. They, these certain men, they're comfortable with a flat, an Xbox, right? The dirty ass woman that's probably slept with what? 10, 15 other men. It's probably cheating on them. They're comfortable with that. In, in, in captivity. So they're, do, do, they're willing to do anything. They're willing to sell their own people out to keep them under subjection. Just to live in pleasure. What for a moment? And that's that Judas Iscariot spirit. And 
that's another thing I was thinking about. You know, when you think of Judas Iscariot, you just think of it has to be one. Yeah, Judas Iscariot was one individual, but there's a spirit of the Judas Iscariot. There could be many within one camp. So you can't always liken it to one man. Many. Many. Right? And what was he known for? Betrayal. And there's many men, they have that spirit of betrayal. Right? When your back is turned, niggas will do anything for money. Anything. That's why you got to pray. Go back to John 7 and we're going to jump to... We're going to shut off soon because I need to freshen up. This is John 7. And where was I? 32. And it says, and the, fact, and the chief priest sent officers to take him. So yes, you have certain elderly men. They got contacts, you know, and they were able to, you know, get certain men to infiltrate this truth and to try and get certain information. Ren said to Yahushua to them, yet a little while I am with you, when I go unto him that sent me. You shall seek me, I shall not find me. And where I am differ, you cannot come. Right, going back to the heavenly father. Then said the Jews amongst themselves, whither will he go? But we shall not find him. Will he go on to disperse among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he said, ye shall seek me and shall not find me. And where I am, therefore you cannot come. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh shall stood and cried, saying, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Right? So when we thirst for this word, who are we going to? Yahweh Shai. And he's feeding us. When we're in need of water. Who, who's who's um, giving us that? Yahweh Shai. The scriptures. This is what quench our thirst. Our spiritual appetites. Let him come unto me and drink. And he that believe on me as the scripture have said. He, this is about belief. As the scripture have said. Not your own opinion. As the scripture have said. Not Christianity. Not as Christianity has taught you. Out of his belly. And that word belly goes into um, mental faculties. Your mind shall flow rivers of living water. And that's why cert certain brothers are able to what flow rivers of water. Abundant. They're abundant in wisdom. Abundant. Because they actually believe on Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai gives them what? Rivers of living water. That constantly flows. They're never stagnant. But this speak, spake he of the spirit, Yahweh Shai, which they that believed on him should receive. Right? So this is a spiritual thing. <sighs> but this he spake, excuse me, but he spake of the spirit which they believe on him should receive. Okay? For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Yahweh Shai was not yet glorified. He didn't yet go back to the Heavenly Father. And a spirit would be given to them. It lets us know in John. Right? Excuse me just a minute. We're going to shut off soon. Alright. It's about belief. Your belief in your Shai. Oh man, yeah, this last scripture I may shut off. It's that Romans, it's about your belief, it's about your belief. And no matter what you do, this word's going to go out anyway. The word is going out, and there's a huge shifting process going on. Go to Romans 10. Doesn't matter, you can send your spies, and yes, we already know you're tapping our phone. We already know you even got certain brothers on, our, on on the computer screen watching everything we do. We already know you, you got a houses tapped. So what? Yahweh Shai was scrutinized. The prophets were scrutinized. Welcome to the life of becoming one of the members of the elect. Because you don't do that to an ordinary person. If someone's wicked, if someone's a criminal, they're wicked. What do you do? You would what, gather up information for a little bit of time. And you would present that information... And you would lock them up. We ain't got nothing too high. So for people to do that, obviously, there's something, there is something special about you. For people to get cameras 
and put cameras all outside and inside of your house, follow you about, Yahabashai went through the same thing. Even Jeremiah was going through certain things like that. All the prophets were persecuted. All the prophets were scrutinized. All the prophets were looked at as somewhat um, insane. Okay, that's how they were looked at. So these things shouldn't really move you. And even your house should, if the world hateth you, just know it hateth me. Right? This is the reality of the truth that men are not really teaching you. Because they're loved. They're loved by the world. Right? We're going to shut off. Let's go to Romans 10. And 9. Though if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jehovah Shai, thou shalt believe in thy heart that the most have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And that's it. It's simple as that. The truth ain't hard, it's just a lot of individuals, they make it hard, they make it difficult. Do you believe, which we preach is Yahweh Shai? Do you believe in Yahweh Shai? And I'm not going to do lessons saying, oh, uh, you, do you believe in a new covenant and this, bro, we just make things simple. Do you believe in Yahweh Shai? Do you believe he rose from the dead? That's it. That's all it takes to be saved, that's it. And with that, you're going to have faith. With that, you're going to have works. With that, you're going to keep particular laws. And that's it. Simple as that. Right? And repent. If thou shalt believe in the heart that the most have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Simple as that. For with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. It's scriptures like these that mean, mean the most. That is it. So when I go out into the highways and byways, we talk about destruction of America and this book, but the main thing is repentance. You believe in Yahweh Shai? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Right? The angels block, the, the angels marvel when one sinner repents. I'm not here to say, oh bro, oh um, what did you do a year ago? What you committed adultery? You're done now. You're through. There's no hope. I'm not in that spirit. Right? Because the same mercy we expect, you show that same mercy on the brother. All right, you have people, example, if someone spits spits on the Bible and rips it up and, you know, I don't believe in God and I don't want to hear it, you leave it. Let them die in their sins. But again, you have to have discernment and you deal with those that are able and ready to, to learn, willing to learn. That's, you've got to have discernment. But those that are not willing to learn to grow, you leave them alone. Because that's another thing I had to learn about myself as well. Big, big, big thing. All that time, and sometimes I'm, I'm still learning, all that time I was putting a lot of energy into people that didn't really care about you have a shy of the word. So it's like, don't do that, right? You teach the word to those that want to listen, those that want to learn. The others, leave them alone. You don't you don't pour into them. You have a was pouring into those that believed, those that knew they were sinners. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here for the sinners. Right, so with this, I hope this was edifying, and until the next time, shalom.